everyone, I'm Nathan and welcome back to PSLE Math 2021 Paper 2 Question Series and today I'll be going through question 10. So let's get started. Okay, so this is question 10 and this question is testing us on ratio. Let's read the question first. Alan, Ben and Chandra shared the cost of a gift. Okay. They shared the cost of the kiff and there's three people alan ben and chandra okay the ratio of alan's share to the total share of ben and chandra was one is to three the ratio of ben's share to the total share of alan and chandra was one is to five chandra's share was 80 dollars more than ben's share and now they are asking us uh, how much did the gift actually cost? Okay, so that is what they are asking us. So basically, let's write down the ratios first. Okay, so this is the ratio. Alan is to Ben plus Chandra is to Toto. You know why I put the Toto over here? Because the Toto is unchanged. Because uh, the gift's price will always be the same. Okay, so they are also testing us on total unchanged so in ratio they are testing us on the total unchanged part so basically alan is to ben plus chandra is to total is actually one is to three is to four okay because the total is four now let's uh, write down the second ratio so the second ratio is ben is to alan plus chandra is to total so it's basically one is to five is to six Okay, there's something off here. Isn't the total supposed to be the same because the gift's price is always the same? So this is where total unchanged comes in. So total unchanged is basically when the total uh, never changes because the gift's price in this case is always the same. So we are going to make the total the same. So in order to make the total the same, we are going to find the lowest common multiple, uh, which is uh, 12 for both of them. 6 times 2 is 12 and 4 times 3 is 12. So we we multiply by 3 uh, in this. So I'm going to take 1 times 3, 3 times 3 and 4 times 3. And for uh, the second ratios, we are going to times 2. So 1 times 2 and 5 times 2 and 6 times 2. So now as you can see, the total is the same. Okay, so since the total is the same, we know that Alan and Ben is, we already found the, the units for Alan and Ben. So Alan is three units because we made the total the same. So there's no, uh, there's no difference. So Alan is three units and Ben is two units. Now all we need to find is Chandra's units, right? But we don't actually know Chandra's unit. So we can take uh, Ben plus Chandra or Alan plus Chandra. So what I'm going to do is to actually uh, take 12 minus 3 minus 2 because the total units, right, is basically 12. And we already have uh, the two people. We are remaining with... We are remaining with uh, Chandra. Okay, so let me write that down. So in order to find Chandra, we are just going to take the total minus Alan and Ben, which will give us 7 units. And there is another information over here. Chandra's share was $80 more than Ben's share. So now we know uh, we can find the units. Okay, so 7 units minus 2 units, which will give us 5 units. So this 5 units over here uh, is basically the $80. So 5 units is equal to $80. So when we have 5 units which is equal to $80, we can easily find 1 unit. So if you have anything, uh, you have a value for any units, I always say first find the 1 unit. Okay, so find 1 unit. So 1 unit is equal to $80 divided by 5 which will give us $16. And how much does the gift cost? And you know that the gift is actually 12 units, right? So we are going to find 12 units now. So 12 units is basically 16 times 12 
and that will give us $192 as our answer. Okay, so I do hope you understood my explanation for this question and thank you and bye-bye. I'll see you in my next video. Bye!